we have a whole lot of people doing that and the one that baffles me this morning is that i went to look for a house for somebody and it happened that it was a nigerian a nigerian that owns this house this particular house i'm talking about do you know what happened at this point some nigerians really need to change their behavior because of this hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining if you are new here you are hello welcome for my returning viewers my amazing subscriber thank you so much for always coming back a nigerian man living in ghana boils out about the treatment he got from his own fellow nigeria living in ghana and refused to give his fellow nigerians accommodation please we are here crying that when you are looking for a house, for an apartment in Ghana, landlords, landladies will be telling you that they don't need Nigerians. And we begin to wonder what the problem is all about. And when you are wondering in that form, it simply means that you have seen yourself as a genuine and a good person, and somebody else somewhere is, 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 is putting your, uh, uh, rubbing your, your name on the mall. So what I'm trying to say now is, we have a whole lot of people doing that. And the one that baffles me this morning is that I went to look for a house for somebody. And it happened that it was a Nigerian, a Nigerian that owns this house, this particular house I'm talking about. Do you know what happened? This man opened his mouth and said, that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. A Nigerian who had just built a house said he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. My question is, when the agent, one of the agents, a Ghanaian, heard this, he, 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 he asked me, Mr. David, please, can you, did you hear what that man said? I said, yes. I, what do you think about it? I said, I'm confused. Because this is a Nigerian saying that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. So, what are you teaching the Ghanaians if you say as a Nigerian that you don't need a Nigerian in your house? And when I came to complain, another Nigerian who I know too well also told me that he, he went to look for a house and a, a man, a Nigerian also said that he didn't need a Nigerian in his house, that he was confused. I thought it was only me that I just heard about it. I just heard about this thing just the first time. I didn't know that it has been lingering for so long. Please, Nigerians, what do you want? What exactly, what are you calling yourself? Because you are just embarrassing yourself. What are you calling yourself? Because where I've lived in three, four places, and all the landlords, as I'm a Nigerian, of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. I've lived in four, three places, and everywhere I have lived, the landlords and the landladies are still my friends, even, 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 even as I have packed out of their houses, they still love me because they knew they know that when I was living with them, I, I did not constitute any nuisance. They see me as a good person. Even somebody, one of them was saying that because of me, he has, he has fallen in love with Nigerians. So why must a Nigerian be using such words on Nigerians? This is very bad. I have to say it. So Nigerians, waiting me on a problem. Come see one guy from my street fighting since morning. Say what to happen. A landlord no one give a house again. A guy, if not you, you go give a person house. What we say they go give only you house. Under one week, you don't bring like 20 people inside the compound. When I go they make noise. Where you know say Ghana people don't like noise. Ghana landlord, they know they like noise. If now you, you go happy. Moving forward to the girls, you, you be girl when we say you don't call a house. You don't use person house as a hotel. You use that house as uh, a show cutter. When we say now every day, you they exchange men for that house. If you be that landlord, you go happy. Nobody tell you say, man, you know they do waiting, waiting, waiting you won't do. But if you go outside, go do what you want to do, come back the house, come back for your house, come enjoy peace. Nobody say you go today, you go change coffee, tomorrow you go change another man. Different, different, my they change men like say you they wear clothes. Is it good? If you be that landlord, if, if, if you, 
you build your own house. This you come collect your house, they do that kind of thing. You go, you go happy. And they ask you go, you go happy. T tomorrow now you go come say, eh, Ghana people no good oh. Ghana people they, they like to they to they to they talk to person anyhow when they use their own money to rent house. This the way now they. Like I said before, at this point, some Nigerians really need to change their behavior. When I saw this man video talking about how his own fellow Nigerian man who have accommodation in Ghana refused to give his own fellow Nigerian accommodation, I was so surprised. This used to be what Nigeria say about Ghanaians, that when they want to rent accommodation in Ghana, Ghanaians refuse to give them accommodation because they are Nigerian. That was what we used to know. A lot of Nigeria have come out to complain that the Ghanaians don't want to give them accommodation. But seeing a fellow Nigerian man who have accommodation in Ghana refusing his fellow Nigerian accommodation, this to tell you that it's high time some Nigeria, I quote, not all, need to change their behavior. Because tell me why a Nigerian man will refuse to give his own fellow Nigerian accommodation. Yes, it's very painful because you cannot reject your own people. If everybody rejects them, you are not supposed to reject them. But you have no idea and what experience this man would have, the encounter would have with some of the Nigeria who have lived in his accommodation before. A lot of times when you hear videos of some Nigeria sharing their experience, oh, Ghanaians don't want to give their accommodation. People feel that Ghanaians are bad. So people feel that Ghanaians are not treating Nigeria well. But hearing it for a fellow Nigerian man refused to give his own fellow Nigeria accommodation. This to tell you that what are Nigeria doing wrong? Why is he only Nigeria? This is the question keep coming to my head. We have a lot of foreigners in Ghana. We have a lot of foreigners traveling everywhere. But why is it that it's only Nigerians, Ghanaians don't want to give accommodation to the point that even fellow Nigerians don't want to give their accommodation? It's high time some Nigeria change their behavior. It's high time. That thing you feel that is always going wrong, that when they give you accommodation, you are not doing right, it's high time you stop. When you write accommodation for somebody, you know that you are going to be living alone. Please live alone. Don't bring more people to the accommodation. Fine. You have paid their money to the landlord, but it does not mean that you are the owner of the property. Nigeria and Ghana behavior is totally different. We can do some of those things in Nigeria. Nobody's going to see it as a problem. But when you come to Ghana and other country you find yourself, you have to be mindful. You have to know that this is not your country. You cannot do those things in somebody else's country. You cannot do it. Probably this man would have some bad experience with some Nigeria before. Because there's no way if you have not had a bad experience, you just refuse to not give Nigeria accommodation. So a lot of things take place that I think that some Nigerians need to work on. Please, we need to work on this because everywhere we go, people call it Nigeria, Nigeria. We are not the only African country in the world. So why our finger is always pointing on Nigerian? Why? We have to work on it. We have to work on some of our behavior. At the same time, it's high time the government have to fix Nigeria so that the people can go back to stay. Not only the government have to fix Nigeria, excuse me to say, even the people of Nigeria have to change their ways of life. Yes, today we are praising Ghanaians that, oh, Ghana is a good country because of Ghanaians. If Ghanaians were not good people, their country cannot be a good country for people to visit. The presidents have done their work, no doubt, but the people of the country have keep the country safe. So it's high time we Nigerians have to try to show good example so that people will not be chasing us everywhere we go. It doesn't have to be changed in the country and the president have to also work to fix some things. I know it's not going to be easy, but at least we can also start from somewhere. Because seeing a Nigerian man refusing his own fellow Nigeria accommodation in Ghana, so you can imagine. It's a really, really sad one. When I saw this video, I keep thinking, what is going on with Nigeria? What crime have we committed to be in Nigeria? I felt it, even though I was not a person that this happened to, I felt it and I said to myself, if I was the one that wanted to rent accommodation and somebody refused me because I am in Nigeria, how am I going to feel? 
is a really painful thing because of some of the things some Nigerians have done, the innocent Nigerians have to pay the price. It's really painful to see that we have to go through with all these things because being a Nigerian is not a problem. Please, we don't have to be a problem to people. We have to be a blessing. So it's high time. We have to work on our character, our behavior, our attitude. When we go somewhere, when we find ourselves in any country, try, try as much as possible to put on a good behavior in that country. Don't find yourself in any criminal act. Don't do anything that you think that is not going to be nice. Always know that you are the one representing your country when you find yourself anywhere. You are the one representing your country. You are not just there alone. You are Nigeria to that people. To the country you find yourself, you are the Nigerians. So you have to please respect yourself and respect the country because the way Nigeria is going now, sometimes I'm so ashamed to even be a Nigeria. Honestly, I'm proud to be a Nigeria, but sometimes some of the things you hear about Nigeria, you don't want to even accept the fact that you are Nigeria anymore. So please, we should work on our behavior, okay? Because it's not getting funny. Is not getting funny anymore. So please, if you have not liked the video, please move by hitting the like button and don't forget to drop your comment below of what you think of the video. Share with a friend who would love to watch this video with you. Hit the subscribe button if you have not done that and don't forget to turn your notification bell so whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now and stay blessed.